Hey there YouTubers, right? So we're doing a brief BIOS overview. I do apologize for having to use a camera on a tripod instead of one of my capture cards. Every one of my capture cards has died and so we are uh, stuck doing it this way for the time being. Uh, this is a recent uh, motherboard that I got in. I think the last one. It's ASRock B660M-ITX-AC. Up here in the upper left, and I guess the only good thing about this, I can use my fingers to point. You can see the CPU that's in here, i7-12700F. Processor speed, how much RAM, what the RAM is running at, right? So I have 4133 megahertz RAM in here. As you can see here, and I haven't messed around with this good stuff here, uh, but obviously, you know, we have different profiles. If this is on, you know, it is not overclocking. So we'll leave that on there. Down here, if we had a drive in it, you would see it. We don't have any M.2s or SATA hooked up at the moment. CPU temperature. This is the i7 using the i9-12900 CPU cooler, right? The really cool one, the RH1 laminar. This keeps this guy quite a bit cooler than it does the i9. The i9 was, uh, I think, 45, 46 degrees Celsius on standard speed. If I crank the uh, this up to full speed down here, you can see this is how you're going to change your uh, CPU fan speed, one one of the ways. And that'll obviously drop this down a little bit as it's doing. Over here we've got our motherboard, temperature, CPU voltage. If we had drives in here we'd see the boot priority. Alright, down here instant flash, internet flash, fantastic tuning. If you want to get in here and mess with this, there's only one fan on this thing and it's the CPU cooler. And you can see that. So, we've got performance standard silent. Now, if I kick that on, you'll probably get a good idea of this thing should get higher. But well, it actually got down to 39 degrees Celsius. Good chance it's going to get higher than uh, 41 if we if we were to leave it there long enough. But I'll spare you guys from that. So we'll put it back to standard. Polychrome. On off. Okay. Software uh, driven usually, right? So you've got to have the ASRock software that you get from their website, folks. In case you didn't know that. Or it's on should be on your driver disk. Uh, a lot of us do not have CD-ROM, DVD drives on our computers. That's the way these awesome gaming computers are these days, so you'll have to download it from the website, all right? Drawing a blank on what their software is called, but you have to get it from them. So this is basically your easy mode, all right? Eventually, I'll make a uh, BIOS update video, okay? So this should be your BIOS version right here, 1.25. We'll find out here shortly. We go to advanced mode, clicked up in the upper right hand corner, click that again to go back to easy mode. So general stuff here again, 1.25 restated there. Nothing super exciting on the uh, main menu here. OC tweaker, so this is B660M. And you know, if you're looking for the uh, block frequency thing you're not going to find that in here with the 12th gen it appears it's only on motherboards that have d5 memory so out of the 10 motherboards i bought i don't have all of them because i ended up uh selling a couple of them off to people but uh only one of those has had d5 memory and only one has had the base clock frequency adjustment just so you know in case you're looking for it all right so, some of the menus here, if you wanted to see what your options are, base frequency boost. This is uh, something that 
you see with ASRock. I never actually got it to do anything, so it seems kind of pointless, but uh, maybe, depending on the CPU, it may actually work a little better, I don't know. CPU turbo ratio information, okay, in case you wanted to see that. Yep, that's not another menu. CPU P core ratio, there's your options there. Options for CPU E core ratio. So, uh, let's see. You have performance cores and efficiency cores on the i7. The other processors are just going to have, you know, regular cores, right? So, I'm surprised that's in there, but E cache ratio. Block aware, adaptive frequency, disable, enable, max. So here is a boot performance mode, max battery, max non-turbo, turbo performance. Let's scroll down if we can. Oop, gotta get out of there first. Ring, so you have these menus here. Trying to find something worth checking out. Okay, Intel Turbo Boost. In case you wanted to disable that, folks. When does this work good? Well, if you're not going to be doing any gaming and no real applications, you can save yourself a little bit of electric and a little bit of heat, right? Uh, dropping that down. Like this processor, I could drop this thing down from the minimum, we'll say 65 watts it's going to use. Uh, with this motherboard, there's really no power limit adjustment and so I could drop turbo boost down get this thing from 65 watts down to probably 18 to 20 watts uh, and it still will do pretty good uh, performance so you see all these things here and let's click on this guy so configure package power limit one in watts. I'm curious what we can change this to, folks. You know, unlimited is uh, four thousand something usually. I'm trying to remember what that number is. See if it takes it. Nope. So the highest you can go on this motherboard is 95 watts. There, okay. So I'm going to change this back to auto. And that's all there is on this thing. PSU select guide. Uh, over 400 watts. Yes, I have that. I don't know if I've ever noticed this before on here, but um, you can get details over here if you see that with QR code. All right. Backing out of this. DRAM. So here is our two profiles. You see the timings there. I'm once again on profile one and the adjustments you can make so I should be able to go in here folks if it's in here nope it's not an option so 4133 is not an option in here I could try and push this above 4000 but I think uh, I might be pushing my luck right you know I did not check to see if my RAM was compatible with this motherboard if it is, it probably says it's limited to 4,000, okay? So there's another place where if you don't know it, before you buy your RAM, go to the manufacturer's website and check out what RAM is available for your, or what is compatible with your motherboard, okay? So here's all timing stuff. If you're into that, you won't see me doing that kind of stuff on this channel. I know some of you probably are a little disappointed that I don't, but... I think there's enough people out there doing it. All right. Voltage configuration. You want to ch change those values in there. Fiber. So there is, I think I just saw it. There is actually something for P core in here, okay? If we didn't have the i7 in here, you would probably not see that. 
pretty sure you wouldn't. Or it'd be grayed out. So that's all that is under the OC tweaker that I'm going to show you. Advanced CPU configuration. Some of these things will be uh, repeated, I believe, in here. CPU thermal throttling. So, you know, honestly, this is a, a relatively cheap motherboard, right? It's a bit limited. If really not meant for this awesome CPU that's in it, or the i9. I think I put my i9 in here, too, at one time. This is, you know, i5, 12400 and below, in my opinion, right? There's all the menus there. Storage configuration, that's what you see in there. Super I.O. configuration, ACPI. You know, usually I do these videos pretty fast, and we are dragging out. So, uh, TPM, so this is obviously Windows 11 compatible. TPM 2.0, that is. And those menus there. All right, what's under tools? So this motherboard does not have built-in ARGB, or excuse me, built-in RGB lights on it. But another place potentially to control it through your uh, addressable RGBs. I don't really have the ability to change my uh, fan to anything, so 